I'm Jeff Fischel with the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. The ACC had six players taken in the first round last night and we could see a few more stars go right away tonight. Pete Futak, Managing Editor for Campus Insiders, looks at the top ACC names still available. It was a great first day for the ACC but there are still a lot of great players on the board. One guy, though, who's probably going to slide into the third round is my guy, the guy who's at the top of my board for the defensive end, Tank Carradine out of Florida State. He was projected to be a first-round talent before injuring his knee late last season. He's still probably going to need a little while to get ready, but on pure talent, he has got all the skills, all the tools to eventually be one of the best defensive players in this draft. But again, he's probably going to slide into the third round. His teammate, Menelik Watson, one of the top offensive tackles in the draft, should have gone at the end of the first round. He's going to get snapped up right away in the second round. He's not quite as good as Luke Jokel, Lane Johnson, and Eric Fisher, but he's not that far off. He's going to be a cheap option for someone, again, early in the second round. And finally, one of my favorite linebackers in this draft, the extremely athletic Kevin Riddick out of North Carolina. Big, fast, strong, can do it all. Everyone's talking about Manti Teo and where he's going to go, but to me, Riddick is the better linebacker option. Again, great second day about to happen for the ACC. A lot of great players still back on the board. Back to you, Jeff. Thanks, Pete. That's Pete Futak from Campus Insiders. Last year, Carolina had a defensive lineman go in the first and a linebacker in the second. Quinton Copel's first to the Jets, then Zach Brown later to the Titans. So maybe it happens again this year with Sylvester Williams in the first and Kevin Reddick next. I'm Jeff Fischel for the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.